Jordan Stout to boot it away. Mecca Ekbuka is the talented freshman receiver for Ohio State, but this one sails over his head and beyond the end line. The sensational freshman phenom, Trevion Henderson, the running back, averaging almost nine yards per carry. It's a slant, easy pitch and catch to Garrett Wilson. Seven of that defense. Three-headed monster to this passing attack. Penn State doing what Ohio State expects. Far right of the four nation, the running back Henderson is lined up. Empty backfield. Penn State doesn't get near CJ and he gets the ball out. Hard hit delivered. My guys with a third and three. Play fake, short pass, catch made, and knocked backward is record after making the catch. Still fighting. Where will they spot it? Ball comes out. As he wrestled for extra yardage, Penn State knocked it loose and a quick takeaway. And they've got one here beginning at the Buckeye 46. First down handoff to Noah Kane. He lost the football. The ball is out. The Buckeyes say they have it. Injury plague season again. Stroud from the pocket delivers a strike. Not actually wasn't a strike. A rare inaccurate throw behind Smith and Jigba, who was open. Take it to Anderson, pitch it out. Once again, it's Garrett Wilson. He is so tough after the catch. You see him, Olave, and Smith and Jigba all making impact plays tonight. Potential that three guys could finish with a thousand receiving yards for this Ohio State offense. Under center, they hand it off to Henderson. Tremendous quick penetration by Curtis Jacobs. Why did it play more reckless? That was a good yeah. example. Yep. Get to the backfield in a hurry. They lose four on second and 14. Ball to Henderson in the flat. Makes a cut and is wrestled down at the 38-yard line. Only two, or actually only one down line in this look for Penn State. They rush just three and a hit as he throws. This is Jesse Murko, 23-year-old true freshman from Western Australia. It's a directional punt, not going for distance, just hangs it up. Guy shows some pressure off the edge. A little stutter step, and that's a decent first down game. Cody Simon become kind of the quarterback of that defense. And that is a... Here comes some more up-tempo approach. And this time Clifford keeps it, and he slides down. Now, where will they spot him? Outrushed 357 to 62, 62 by Beal and his team. Yeah. 62 yards. All season, they're averaging three and a half per carry. That's just not Penn State-like. Trying to get the ground game going early this time. Lovett is swallowed up inside by Tyreek Smith. If we're making some adjustments here, has plenty of time on the play clock. Looking to throw for the first time against the blitz. Throws it across the middle. Third down, even third and short, has been a big problem for this Penn State offense this year. That time they hand it off to Lovett. And he's going to move the sticks again. Love it in there. Man, he exploded, especially on third and short. Ran hard. Love it. Bangs in the middle and then spins. Earns two yards. You surprised they're coming out this run heavy early? No. No. I, I, you know, you're going to continue to mix it up. And if you can get those safeties to start to worry about that, that's a big bonus for Clifford. Eight out of the first nine play calls from Mike Yersich are on the ground. Guys rush five Clifford has time and delivers a strike and the catch is made by Keandre Lambert Smith and he's into Ohio State territory But you got zone coverage here nice job of protection and look at the hole in the zone right there Look at Clifford in rhythm steps throws makes a nice throw on that one They're gonna throw on first down escapes and just throws it away Four man rush. Clifford again has time. Throws down the middle, and the catch is made. And Washington is still alive. Getting some blocks, and Parker Washington. And now they get it to Kevon Lee, who takes a turn to the backfield. And Lee gets a block on the edge and is knocked out. First and goal. Clifford on the roll. Fires it down, and there's the tight end, Brenton Strange, and Penn State. Big underdogs on the road. Strikes first. Yep. What an impressive 84-yard touchdown drive. What a drive for Clifford in this Penn State offense. They started out pounding away on the ground, opening things up with the passing game. First fumble of the season. Follows it up with their second touchdown, Kirk, in the last 25 possessions. That's how much they've struggled since that turning point we talked about in Iowa City when Clifford was injured. 
Quiet start for Travion Henderson. The freshman is tripped up at the line. Second and eight. He is smacked immediately. Ebbe Katie met him behind the line. Ryan Day said you have to expect that early game surge from the Penn State defense. They're known for this. Buckeyes need nine on third down. Crossing route. Completion to Smith in Jigba. He's got a first down. Penn State rushes five. Pressure off the edge. And it hurried to throw just a little bit behind Garrett Wilson. Penn State's doing some things a little bit different than what they prepared for. Anderson inside. And Stroud told us he's used to that. He studies a lot of tape. Trying to figure it out. Trying to figure out where the best way to attack. Penn State wasn't set up. And on third and long, Stroud buys time and flips the sideline completion. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense number nine. Borderline call. Stroud hustles up under center on this first down play. Puts it in the flat to Wilson who's been busy. Boy, is he shifty after the catch. Finally knocked down at the 15. More room to work out there on the outside. Both offenses using tempo. Henderson has been contained early. Penn State clearly focused on the freshman. You start to look at the stats he's putting up. Some of the freshmen that have come through this school. And there is a false start. Five receiver look. Henderson to the far left. And another whistle before the snap. And a timeout taken. Henderson in the backfield. Stroud pressure tries to make a play on the run and tight ropes down the field before throwing the ball into the ground there. Just nothing on that. So far, Garrett Wilson has been the weapon on third down. Stroud whoops in the end zone way over the head of Wilson. He's going to be the best receivers in the country tonight. Yeah. And Noah Ruggles, who still hasn't missed a kick at Ohio State, now eight for eight. They could not get anything going offensively. Off. Fair caught. If we're looking to throw, gets pressure, takes a hit, and it's way over the head. A lot of treatment over the last couple of weeks to get him ready. And the handoff. You know, Love it hasn't been very busy this season. They bring pressure. Clifford hesitates. Flushed. And has to just throw it away. He and Cody Simon have been great additions to the middle of that defense. Yeah, obvious athletic ability, but pretty good instincts for a guy who just changed sides of the ball. Jordan Stout, who is a triple threat. Ryan Day said, you know, we got to be patient, throwing a ball underneath. We have an open receiver on the bootleg. Against his coverage. That's Ruckert in motion. This is Mayan Williams, the short but physical freshman running back. Mayan's playing physical tonight. A fumble! Ball on the ground, still loose. Now a flag is down. Never came up. Snap infraction. Offense number 53. Five yard penalty. Remains third down. Boy, he, they, Ohio State catches a break there. C.J. Stroud talking that he and Luke Whipler, they're in the same class. Bradshaw freshmen have a great relationship, great communication between center and quarterback, but not so far tonight. There's a low throw. And you're going to give him a chance to find one of those open uh, receivers. Henderson, or excuse me, that's Williams who's knocked down after a short gain. And right now it has been more of five. And safe brings pressure. It's picked up. Low throw beautifully broken up. Stroud escapes and flips it into traffic. Anderson's back in the game. He's got the ball, but he just has not seen the kind of holes he's been seeing. They have a lot of talent, by the way. So it's a combination of wow. things. There's another miscommunication between center and quarterback. Offense number 53, five-yard penalty, remains second down. Second and 11 after the penalty. Penn State brings pressure. It's picked up. And the throw again is low. And especially down in the red zone. They kind of coach it to throw it, whether it's to a first down marker or towards near the goal line. They want him down around the knees. Third and two. Henderson is smacked. Met at the line and not going for it on fourth and three. Sends out Mirko to hopefully in Penn State deep. And the Aussie drops that point, kicks that with backspin. And there's the tailback. They fake it to him. Clifford looking to throw and first down has time and delivers across the middle. Parker Washington running. And Washington gets Penn State some breathing room out to the 35. 
25 yard pickup. Yeah, he just does a good job of sitting huge void in the middle of that defense. They played too high. Nobody behind those linebackers. Clifford looked to the right. Now flips it down. Lambert Smith, that was a funky play. Clifford looking down the middle, buying time. And on the run, flips it incomplete. Tried to force the ball into Lee along the sidelines. Couldn't hold on to it. Third and seven coming up. Four man rush, Clifford, no one to throw to. Now delivers a strike, and Parker Washington has a first down catch in Ohio State territory. This is exactly what Mike Yursich has been challenging Sean Clifford to do sit in there on third down, keep your eyes downfield, and make that throw. Outstanding. Bunch formation again. It's Washington has been featured tonight. Again, they have not targeted Jahan. He calls everybody in tight formation here. Still have plenty of time, five. right around 10 seconds. Now it strips to the right. Clifford looking across the middle and delivers a low throw. Clifford flushed. Pitches on the sideline. Tight roping was Lambert Smith. He just kind of stepped out of bounds. Illegal touching by a receiver who had gone out of bounds. Returned and was first to touch the pass. Five yard. Correction, the penalty is a loss of down at previous spot. Fourth down. Yeah, it's, it's just the same as an incomplete pass. Good spot there, Kurt. James Franklin right next to the ref. Looks like he's going to let him go. Another run to play. High snap. Clifford has to avoid the rush. Trying to stay alive. He'll be dropped in midfield. Buckeyes come in the pressure. He needed four yards there. Anderson trying to get on track, and he has been smug. Second and 11. They bring pressure. Stroud escapes it. Launches downfield, looking for Olave, and the pass was incomplete. Joey Porter was in coverage. They got tangled up. Buckeye fans want a flag. There isn't one. But it's very rare to see Olave get frustrated like that. But in the back left part of your screen. You're going to see watch Olave and Porter. Looks like Porter grabs him with the with the arms. And that's I don't know if that's why he went down. But let's take a look to see if he grabs onto his jersey. Nine's one of the better corners. He just kind of grabs onto him. Eh, not too bad. Feet got tangled up there. I think it was, that's why he went down. We haven't seen Olave or Dotson. Top receivers in each team make a play yet tonight. Screen on third and 11. Wilson eludes one tackle, but Penn State's defense swarming. Jair Brown forced him out, and it's fourth down, a three and out after the drive began in Penn State territory. You wondered would that gamble by Franklin backfire? It didn't because this Penn State defense has been incredibly strong tonight. Murko rolls out. It's a low line drive boot. And taking the punt on the run is Dotson. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage for the playbook on home loans. Rocket can. Clifford on the roll, keeps it, and slides down after a first down game. You thought, how can he be 100%? But he looks great. Love it. Trying to get wide, and he'll be knocked down. Running out of time here, got to snap it quickly. They just get it off. And after all that, Lovett's going to be trapped behind the line. Only a handful of guys who are part of that championship game against Alabama are playing tonight. Pepper is going to be sacked. Knocked down at the backside. Stout gets the point away. Not one of his best, but look at this roll. Even when it's not a great kick off the foot, somehow things work out well for Jordan Stout, including the end of half situations. 19 in a row. Haven't found the end zone yet tonight. And again, backpedaling under pressure just has to throw it away. Second and 10, surround delivers. Tried to go for a back shoulder fade. Here comes a flag. A couple of them. Castro Fields was covering Garrett Wilson five versus five. 
penalty on Penn State. Now that's the beauty of that back shoulder fade is, is you know, e even if you don't complete it, a lot of times it's Pass hard for the defensive back to not Defense see the ball. Five. Then he grabs 15 on. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. So he, you know, he's he's worried about trying to locate the ball in the process. He's got that right hand grabbing on to, to Garrett Wilson. A easy call. Ball we'll moved to the 46. Three man rush. Stroud should have plenty of time. Does he have someone to throw to? Late throws it low again, and that's Smith and Jigma going down. Much prefers to pitch it. And here's a downfield shot. Olavi was bracketed and way overthrown. They are be keeping close eye on number two tonight. And getting to the edge is Wilson. He's been the playmaker so far. Nudged out of bound by Brisker. No flag. Crowd wanted one there and some words on that Ohio State bench. I personally like the call just because you know the, the inside right now is is tough so you get the ball out on the edge brisker with a little push once he was already out of bounds I think the timing of it is what draw the drew the attention from the uh, from the stadium not enough from the, the officials first down two tight ends in the game for Ohio State I like that get the ball out on the edge right away from where you're losing the battle right now in the trenches so work to the, work the perimeter the best you can Stroud on the play action fake steps up launches downfield Olave has arrived and Ohio State takes the lead Noah Kane who fumbled in the first series back in the game. Play action, they get it across the middle, and that's the tight end Theo Johnson. Lions show this tempo getting to the line quickly, then we'll look and make adjustments. And he's adjusting to the blitz that Ohio State's showing. I don't know if they'll pull it off, but they're showing blitz here. Play fake, dumped off again. It's Johnson gets a block. And the athletic tight end as a group. They're loving this. Other play flake slant again. Finally, Jahan Dotson is involved. 50th catch of the season for Dotson. This is an impressive response so far by Penn State. Here comes the blitz. It's going to be down for the third time. The ball is loose. Running the other direction is big Durant Cage. It's a scoop and score for the Buckeyes. Penn State pass protection was a problem against Illinois. Fair catch again by Levitt. Oh, John Hicks. I think you got it. Kane barrels forward. Kane. It's about a yard here. But from looking to get the ball out quickly, it's Kane in the flat, and he's knocked out of bounds right near the marker at the 46 by Cam Brown. But they're looking to throw for it. Washington makes the catch, and they have a first down in Ohio State territory. Again, that's where you rely on a veteran quarterback, a guy that you trust. Put the ball out in front. Don't just throw it out there. Put it out in front of Parker Washington. Because there's a lot of traffic out there. He wants to get his eyes upfield. That was a perfect throw. Day spends a timeout on defense here. Penn State would be tremendous if they could get points here cut into this lead after the lightning strike by Ohio State. Late pressure. Ohio State crowd wanted a flag. They're showing the replay and the crowd voicing its displeasure. If we're getting to the line quickly again, then checking out the defense and they make adjustments. Play clock at five. Here comes the pressure again. Throw over the middle and Dotson goes down, makes the catch on one knee. They'll stop the clock to move the sticks inside the 35. And Penn, Ohio State went from a two high look to a single high look, which opened up a huge seam. And I think Penn State got away with another hold up front. And that was Kane, the running back, who's got the completion in the flat. <laughs> Grabbed a hold of a blitzer again. 
No gain on that play. Keep in mind, Penn State has the one timeout. They also get the ball. They deferred, so they get the ball to start the second half. Brickman doesn't want to use it here. They are in field goal range for Stout, who's got a terrific leg. Pressure up the middle and an errant throw. Dotson was in heavy traffic. And that was big time overthrow. Smith again in the pressure. Yeah, they're working over the middle. See the defense moves from two high to one high. Look at that open, that opening. Good job by Clifford going from pre -sum. Look at his eyes, locked in on that safety. He saw him move to the middle of the field, knew that he had Dotson. That got him down in field goal range, but now we're at third and ten. Can't take a sack here if you want to try a long field goal. Buckeyes drop. Eight in coverage. Short pass. Dotson had no chance. And it is drifting, but he knocked it through. You know, up, up to this point, been beat up front, not able to run the ball, 19 yards rushing for Ohio State. We'll see how they try to open up some running lanes. Yeah, Penn State, which has had trouble running the ball, unlike Ohio State, also with just 19 yards rushing in the first half. Penn State's decided no kickoff returns tonight. Love it. has been the workhorse tailback so far. Clifford looked that direction, but this is a design keep, and he gets smacked by Steel Chambers, and here comes a flag. They'll take a look at this for targeting. Perhaps quarterback went down. They cannot believe a flag was thrown. I mean, he, the only thing you can think about is he lowers his helmet at contact. See if the crown of the helmet is used. This is where Bill makes the big bucks to help us out up here. Bill, Billy, what do you think here? Mm. I don't believe it's a late hit at all because he, he wasn't committed, but he did come After in. After the play was over, personal foul, late hit, defense number 22, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Mark I'd have it the other not way saying around. targeting, Bill. Yeah, you, you have a, a different one. I'd go the targeting because of the crown of the helmet. That's what I was thinking. And about. I don't believe the hit was committed, or the hit started to be committed just, as he was as going as he was going down. Yeah. So I don't have it as a late hit. The foul on defense number 22 is targeting by rule number 22. It's been disqualified. Oh, man, it's harsh. And Ohio State fans have strong feelings about this rule. Quick throw, far side. Parker Washington has been busy tonight. Dotson slot right in the second and nine play. Clifford on the move, launches downfield. That's Dotson. Could not hold on. Third and nine. Here comes the blitz. Clifford gets it out. Dotson makes the catch. And navigates for a first down. A flag is down where the quarterback was knocked down. But he sat in there and took a big hit late. Looked like Zach Harrison hit him after the Personal throw. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense number nine. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Right. That, that was a little soft on a late hit, in my opinion. Clifford. Gets it out to Dodson, makes the six yard catch. Pressure again, and the throw is low. Dodson couldn't come up with that. They're really coming after Clifford now yeah. in this Penn State offensive line. Penn State, so far tonight's been good on third down, six for 10. It's been a problem all season. Clifford delivers, strike, first down. Parker Washington found a little seam. And Penn State inside the 15. It, then he turns around the very next play, and Zach Harrison's right in his face, and he stares down the barrel and makes a great throw. You know, so I think that's what's been crazy with Mike Yursich is trying to get him to be consistent with stepping and throwing. Love it, and the delay is wrestled down behind the line of scrimmage by Antoine Jackson. Clifford. Slips it to Lambert Smith, who breaks the tackle and is knocked down inside the 10. The sophomore from Virginia, Vincent on the tackle. It'll be third down. They'll need about four.
Here comes the blitz again. Ball is caught. First and goal. Parker Washington makes the catch. You can see Clifford telling Levitt, here comes the blitz. Get ready to block it. Yeah, you're right. He showed that. They came again. He again steps right into that throw, right in the face of the pressure. How about the catch? Clifford keeps it. Now pitches off. Strange trying to work his way to the goal line. Now they put Dodson right next to him. Extra offensive lineman. Dodson on the direct snap. Trying to get the corner. Can he? Yes, but not yes. He's across. Touchdown, Penn State. Jahan Dodson. Illegal substitution. 12 players on the field at the snap. Defense. The penalty is declined. The result of the play is a touchdown. Well, it was trickery here, but not even an extra defender could stop it. No, that, that was a, a wrinkle. After that lightning quick. Two touchdowns in a minute and a half by Ohio State, including the sack and the scoop and score. They've responded with 10 straight points. And not stumble again after the loss early to Oregon here. They responded well to that loss. They got hungrier. Stroud delivers short. And Smith and Jacob breaks free. Breaks a tackle. It's a foot race. And they finally run him down. It's a catch, but a poor angle right there in support frees up Jackson and, and Jigba. Fabian Henderson waking to make a breakout play. Eye formation. Henderson picks his way, shows excellent patience and instincts for a young back. It's first and goal. Henderson. Shows his leg drive. Jair Brown grabbing a leg there was Derek Tangelo. I, I think that's the part of, of Henderson's game that people, remember, he's a true freshman. They're starting to really learn about him. It's not just quickness. I mean, he, he lowers his shoulder. He runs behind his pads. And he is showing versatility as a young back for this Ohio State offense. Electrifying in the open field, but physical. Free play, Penn State jumped outside, Stroud for the end zone, it's broken up. Joey Porter defending Wilson one-on-one, -on -one. that'll be half the distance. Offside, defense number 23. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. Repeat second down. Jacobs has played well tonight, you can tell the eagerness to kind of get off the edge. Lions are pretty good at anticipating the snap count. Jesse Lequette has done a good job of that this yeah. year. That time too soon. The Porter still had to save a touchdown with that play. Rossi, tight end at fullback. Anderson, spawn down. There's Jacobs penetrating. First career pick in the loss a week ago. Active tonight behind the line of scrimmage. Third and goal now. Henderson again. He's not going to get there. Jacobs again yep. came around the edge to grab Mitch fourth down. You also saw Loquetta involved there doing a good job getting off of his block. 23. Again, closing. See 40 in there. 13. Ellis Brooks. He's working hard. You can tell he's fogging up that shield that he's wearing. Fourth down. Huge moment. Henderson leading forward, false start by the tailback. Number 32, five-yard penalty, remains fourth down. And that changes Day's mind. Of course, here comes the field goal team. Ouch. Wow. Wow, yeah, he just lost his balance. He's anticipating and just fell forward. Mm. You know, it's been so easy for this offense the last month. Striking quickly, building a lead, and really... Games become blowouts in the second quarter. Tonight, against by far the best defense they've seen, having to earn every yard. And the mental mistakes are piling up. Ruggles knocks it through from 23. The Penn State's defense succeeds in the red zone again. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can.
So once again, Penn State will have to fight from behind here, midway third quarter. It's a very short kickoff. It bounces. Got a jump on it. So a little curveball thrown by that kickoff team. Kane's in the game. And he's got the football and tripped up after a short gain. Eight seconds left. Clifford trying to get Lovett Matt lined up right. Snap it at one. Clifford on the move. That play just felt wrong from the start. There's a late flag that comes in in the secondary on Ohio State. Is that Denzel Burke? Yeah, it looked, like, it looked like he grabbed on to the jersey initially at Lambert Smith and then maybe got him around the hips. Denzel Burke is a ridiculously talented freshman, a prodigy, really. Defense number 29. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic is a day foul. one starter, is a true freshman who played receiver mostly in high school. Let's take a close look at this, see if yeah, there's the, gra the grab of the jersey, and then he grabs the left hip. True freshman. They, they think he's the, the next one, the next great corner that Ohio State can have. Kane knocked down for no gain. A hard hit delivered by Javante Jean Baptiste. Second and ten. Clifford looking for someone over the middle. Delivered late. And the ball almost intercepted. Was thrown over the head. Pressure. Clifford. Can't out escape. He'll be dragged down just behind the line of scrimmage. When they're in one on one situations against the offensive line. Stout. It's a low boot. It's returnable. Wilson comes up at the 30, circles back, and the coverage team swarms him. For coaches out there, just never forget the difference you can make in people's lives. Henderson takes off. And the freshman gets the corner. It's a foot race. Knocked down at the one. Underestimated the speed of Trevion. Trevion Henderson who gets outside there. Once again, down in the red zone, he was averaging under a yard per carry Man. through the first ninth. Get the whole package. He's got the football again. Lowers the head. Touchdown, Ohio State. As the freshman five star. From Virginia, targeted for a huge career. Here's the next guy. 71 yards. You work the entire game, right, as a Penn State defense, playing incredibly well. Games against Michigan State here in a few weeks, and, of course, Michigan. And they're all going to have to deal with number 32. Team-oriented guy. Clifford on play action. Incomplete. Tried to find Dotson on a slant. Second time tonight, Penn State's been down double digits, but a lot more urgency this time. Late third quarter, and that defense has been giving up some big plays. Johnson fights for yardage. It'll be third and about four. You know, the energy, the success of Penn State's defense early, but Ohio State really believes that as the game goes on, their superior depth, they can wear down this Penn State defense, which is a little bit shorthanded. Down 10 with the way this game's trending. It's a big drive and a big third down right here for Clifford in the Penn State offense. Oh, exactly. That's my point. There, there's yeah. urgency at this totally moment. Totally agree. To get these four yards. Clifford looks down the middle and throws a nice ball. Lambert Smith in Ohio State territory. Placed in there beautifully for a 22-yard gain. Looking to throw again on first down. Steps up. Again, finds Dotson, who ducks down inside the Ohio State 30. Penn State is responding again. Yeah, you get a first down, all of a sudden you, you put your foot on the gas. Ohio State defense on their heels, and then there's openings underneath the coverage. Takes a love it. Pitch it far side. Dotson gets a block. Cuts it back. And is knocked down. Penn State picking up chunk yardage here. They're at the 15. Man, this has been a quick response. Washington cuts inside of a block and navigates for eight more yards. That's their running. Played at Cincinnati St. Xavier back in the state of Ohio. Chance to compete against the Buckeyes in this stadium. You got three tight ends. All of them are split out wide left. One, two, three yeah. in a row. Usually you throw it out there and let them block. Throw it to 10. And a little miscommunication. Strange was the nearest tight end. 
Well, what he wanted to do is, is go to Theo Johnson. Theo Johnson's going to kind of show block and then try to get behind the safety. Kind of showing, no, I'm just blocking. And not really just the timing of that off. He also was trying to look for strange, Chris, but timing of that, just not on the same page. Penn State's turn to try to convert in the red zone. Third and two. Love it. Fights, leans, and it is first and goal for Penn State. Give an assist to Wallace on the right side along with Scruggs. Ohio State brought pressure, brought the blitz, and they just they, they pushed it down, washed it down, and opened up on that right side. Wallace, an experienced right tackle. Juice Scruggs, first-year starter at the right guard position. For a team that couldn't run the football, it was a big third and short. First and goal, Clifford. Now well, he was under heavy pressure, trying to get it off the strange there, but was backpedaling quickly because Terran Vincent was in on him. Final minute of this third quarter. Flag down, love it, knocked down short of the goal line. Ohio State maybe lined off, lined up offsides. The only thing I can think of there. I didn't see Penn State move early. No. Boy, every foot is precious down here, and that'll move it a little bit closer, half the distance. Unbelievable, Day said. Defense number eight lined up in the neutral zone. The penalty is declined. Third and goal. They've, they've gone 89 yards, 75 yards, and now they have a 71 yard drive going right now. Yeah, they'll take the result of the play, which moved it closer than the penalty would have. Two back look, Kane and Lee, and a tight end. Strange right behind him. Yeah, this is a new formation as a blocker turn in the corner is Kevon Lee. And Stout converts it. Clifford got knocked out of the game in Iowa. Just, they couldn't put any kind of a passing game together. And of course, Will Levis transferred away from Penn State. Finally, a Heisman moment by a player in the country, by Kenneth Walker. Did it against great competition. Michigan had allowed three rushing touchdowns before he got five today. Wilson, the reception. First down across the 35. Green Web didn't even have their excellent quarterback in that game. Henderson off that huge 68 yard run, which set up the touchdown, brought down by Brooks. Heck of a collision there between Ellis Brooks and, and Trevion Henderson. The shoe comes off. You just showed Keith Byers running without the shoe. Mayan Williams spells him here. Stroud steps up and delivers an accurate throw. Catch made by Rucker at the tight end. The Salabi just the one catch tonight, but it was a 38-yard touchdown late in that second quarter. Stroud rolling, sideline route, trying to get it to his favorite target tonight, Wilson. First down carry for Henderson. And he's knocked down after a three yard gain. Red zone opportunity. Who wins it? Stroud back pedaling, scrambling. Now checks it down. It's dropped. And heavy traffic that was out of Henderson's hands. Picked up by Luketa. There's no whistle yet. Penn State's linebacker rumbling. Stroud's going to chase him down. It's just of course, it. they're going to review this, but they kept the play alive. It's just an incompletion. I don't yeah. know what the heck's going on. Check down short, and Smith and Jigba wrestled down by Deshaun Hart or Daquan Hardy. Stroud going to throw for it, and it's incomplete. Between Stroud and Olave, and Penn State football at the 13. Kevon Lee picks his way, busts through a couple of tackles, hard running. 
Booker from the pocket. Finds Theo Johnson. Cody Simon there to wrestle down Lee. Just trying to get anything to get their running game going. Pump fake. Launching for Dodson downfield. And it's underthrown and intercepted. Cam Brown. Easy pick. Pick it up blocks. And Brown will slide down inside the 30. Tyreek Smith pressure of the quarterback. And the Buckeyes are set up inside the 30. Henderson cuts it back. Strad under center. Henderson bowls straight ahead. And he's stopped by Luketa. Short of the marker. And Third down and short. Now. If you're Ryan Day, you're thinking, man, we've been down in this area four times. This is a strength of ours. Only one touchdown. We've got to find a matchup that we can win. We've got to be able to put a touchdown on the board here. Get this to a 10 spot. I think he'd love to run it in if they can. Anderson, no, sir. Slam down, tried to fight forward, stopped short of the marker. Jair Brown got there in a hurry. Fourth down. You got to really earn it in the red zone against this Penn State defense. Henderson is the back. Now up under center. Henderson's got it. Trying the right side. Cuts it back. And gets a first down at the 15. It wasn't easy. Fresh set of downs, though. Jones, who's 6'8", 360 pounds at that right tackle spot. Great spot, Kirk. It's the small things. Just influencing the defense enough to open that crease outside. Empty backfield. And Ryan Day is trying to get their attention at the bottom. Change the play up. The lobby single coverage to the right. And they try to get it to him in his screen. But Luketa read the play very well. And the veteran knocked him down behind the line. You know, Luketa bounces from defensive end to linebacker. And I think this is where his skill set really pays off of being a linebacker and having some instincts to kind of feel a throw like that. Instead of rushing upfield, he, he immediately sensed screen, got his head on a swivel, and was able to get out there and influence that play. 40 is really good for Penn State off the edge. And the three Canadians that plays a big part of Penn State. Stroud pressured. Rolls out, chased by Luketa, and he'll just run out of bounds. Didn't throw the ball away, took the loss. There's a flag down to the defensive secondary. Back at around the five yard line. Luketa, who remember he picked up that ball that somehow was ruled not incomplete at first, ran it all the way to the end zone. He chased the quarterback big time. That time he needs some oxygen over there. By the way, holding defense number nine. The penalty is half the distance to the goal. Repeat second down. Second penalty on Joey Porter. Travion Henderson, by the way, I'm told Kirk is in the tents being checked out by athletic trainers on the near sideline, so not in the game right now. Second and three. Line day. Communicating with his quarterback as they make their pre snap adjustment here. Penn State moving around on defense. And they run it with Williams right into heavy traffic. And that is closed down quickly. Epic Katie off the edge. Play clock at five. Pressure picked up. Stroud throws to the end zone. One on one coverage on the edge there. Castro fields against Wilson. They've been battling all night. Mutual combat going on. Nobody's really gaining an advantage or a disadvantage. So it's a good combat. Combat. I like that phrase, Bill. Monday. Tell you what, we knew it was going to be a battle. These Penn State DBs against the Ohio State wide receivers. It has literally been a hand to hand combat. Five years ago, came to this field and won a state championship right here for St. Xavier. High school in Cincinnati wasn't really recruited by Ohio State, so he goes to Penn State. Two years ago, comes here and gets knocked out of the game all yeah. week, and it's pretty loud now. Ball to the perimeter, on, and on, Dotson knocked down after a five-yard game. You're right, that has been the running game tonight. Love it, knocked down. They'll take it if you're Ohio State. 
Lifford flushed and throws it away. It's caught. Receiver came out of bounds. Love it back inbounds. A flag is down as he races to the end zone. Now, was he forced out of bounds? No. Or did he go out on his own? He went out on his own. Illegal touching of the forward pass by a receiver who had gone out of bounds on his own. Return and was first to touch. There's a funky formation here. Stout, straightforward punt. Booming high kick. Smith and Jigma backpedals and makes a fair catch. Ernie, Buckeye football. I was just saying, Ernie, Ernie's one of the best. I know he's hurting. Henderson on the edge. Boy, they thought they had him out of bounds. He actually came back in. Six yards on first down puts him in good shape. They fake it. And there's a sideline rug. Henderson breaks some tackles into the secondary. Stiff arm got away from Ebby Katie. Ryan Williams spells him now, but 138 now for Henderson. Flag here. Full start. Offense number five. Five yard penalty. Remains first down. It's Wilson. And on the slant, Ruckert running free. And another flinch. And yeah, left guard that time moved. It's there, Mumford, his 40th start. So first and 15. Henderson. We just that, did it for the last three minutes. I mean, you can change it every single time. You, you could. Henderson running right as a gap. Makes a cut, and bulldozes down inside the 10. Since they've got the running game going after halftime. Henderson, man, he didn't get it. He kicked seven field goals all year. And he just gets it through. Had missed a kick as a Buckeye. That wasn't his prettiest, but it gets inside the upright. That may end up being one of the biggest plays of the night. He was early, but it really shifted momentum. All right, Clifford down by nine. Desperation time needs a huge play. Backpedals and dumps it down. Not what they're looking for. They don't have any timeouts. Yeah, That's use, a loss right there. Yeah, had to use all those timeouts to, to try to help their defense out. Now you got to get the ball out of bounds. You got to get the ball downfield. Into traffic. Dotson spun free. They'll stop the clock momentarily. First down to the 42. Obviously, Clifford, ton of experience. Urgency here for for Clifford and the Penn State offense. And the play clock continue to roll. Dotson again dances out of bounds across the 45 yard line. You're thinking get down, touchdown, onside kick with enough time left to yep. take a shot at perhaps a game winning field goal. A lot of stuff's got to happen, but the sooner they can reach the end zone, the better. Four man rush. Lifford has plenty of time and launches to Dodson. They're getting closer down to the 31 yard line. Again, the clock will stop momentarily here. Great ball skills downfield. Buckeyes ran off a couple of men late. And the flat overshot Lovett. He was being tracked down anywhere in space by Williamson. With a monster game, statistically, 11 catches, 127 as a rushing touchdown as well. Buckeyes will take it though. Clifford has a lot of time. Ball batted down at the line of scrimmage. Four man rush. Protection breaks down. Clifford has to backpedal and dump it off. Buckeyes got home, rushing four. Blew the play up. It's fourth down. There was a school record 57 yarder against Pittsburgh a couple of years ago. So this to cut the lead back to six before they try the onside kick. Got to have this though. Nope. Drove it, but hooked it badly. And that should do it. And Ryan Day still has not lost a conference game as a head coach at Ohio State. Think about that. 0. Think about that. Yeah. Had the same record after 32 games here at Ohio State as Urban Meyer did. 29 and 3 coming in. So he'll get to 30 and 3. He knew it would be a battle. Average margin last five years in this rivalry has been six points. 
Ohio State felt like they could win the fourth quarter. They could wear down Penn State. That didn't really happen. Penn State battled. The game was great in the red zone. But this young Ohio State team has the answer. And they make it five in a row against their rivals to the east. Now Clifford battled. Penn State played their hearts out. Ohio State gets a big win. Sitting there at six and one. Find out what the committee thinks on Tuesday night. So much happened today in the sport again and will happen tonight as well. We've got Nebraska on the road, then Purdue, then that Michigan State, Michigan double to close out the season.